the first step for creating a the cam for your box project is going to be in Inventor setting up the, the actual stock. And we, we use a setup for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the cam tab. And then I'm also going to click on this button that says setup. So right here, this is the first step that we do. Um, it helps us to tell the computer where the what the orientation is, what is the size of the stock we're going to create this out of, um, and then how what machine we're actually going to be using. So uh, for the machine, uh, the doesn't really matter uh, which one you use, so we can actually just kind of leave that blank. Our setup, we just want to make sure that this is a milling operation. Uh, our orientation we may have to change. Whenever I created this part, I knew that I wanted my X to be along this direction and my Y to be this way and then my Z to be up and down. But that's not always going to be true. And so what I'm actually going to do is, uh, and this is going to be the step uh, that you do each time that you straight uh, start one of these operations. So I'm actually going to rotate my view um, a little bit. And I'm going to take a look at this from the top. And so my, uh, as you can see now, my orientation is actually incorrect. I want my uh, X to be along this positive, so my origin here, and then my Y to be along here. But I want my Z up to be, you know, where it would actually be up along this. Z is the actual um, up and down. And so X is along the long way, Y is along the shorter direction of our milling machine. That doesn't really matter because this is square, but uh, it is good to know what the actual orientation is within the milling machine. And then the Z is always up and down. And so uh, what I can do is instead of having model orientation, what I generally like to do is select uh, Z axis plane and then X axis. And for my Z axis or plane, what I can do is select a plane that is uh, normal, or my Z axis will be normal to that, meaning it's going to go straight out from there. So I'm going to actually select this flat surface right here. I could also select this flat surface. If I zoom in right here, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to select that. And then that's going to have it, the Z go straight up from there. And then I've got my X axis. I'm going to activate that, make sure I activate that. And I want the X axis to go along here. You'll notice that it doesn't actually, it didn't change my orientation. So it's kind of um, backwards from what I actually want. But I can actually flip that X axis. And you can see that my origin, that point, is positive towards the right and it's positive kind of away from us and then it also is positive up and down if we're talking about this top right here. The origin, generally we put a stock box point and so you can see the centers and you can uh, midpoints of these lines or the corners and generally we do the front left top of our part and so that's what that would be right here uh, because when I put the stock in there this is going to be the front this is going to be the um, the left of it and then it's also going to be the top of that um, that stock the next tab within here is going to be not a relative size box but it's a fixed size box you know the dimensions of your your stock. I gave that to you at the beginning. Um, in this case, it's two and a half by two and a half by three. If it happens to be different, you change it, but I, I believe uh, 2.5 is the uh, by 2.5 by three is correct. Then um, we can go to the next tab. And this is really helpful because as soon as you post process it, kind of our exporting uh, process, it's going to um, put whatever this line is right at the beginning. So generally, um, I put my name and then the project. The program comment 
right here, uh, I'm going to add in the tool we're going to use. So we're going to actually use a 3 8 inch end mill. And then don't worry about the uh, machine, the work uh, offset. So once we have that, we can hit OK. And we now have a setup that is correct for our part.